No, come on. Don't it you opened have up. you want to get out about the Queen? It opened up with uh, Tony Khan, actually. And uh, it was very interesting because the moment they put him on the screen, everybody booed. And uh, people have been wondering, why'd they do that? What's going on? Well, oh, the I Young think, Bucks tell you that? I think it's obvious why he was booed. <laughs> he was booed because they were in New York. And the moment everyone saw his face, they thought, this is MJF's rival. And so they start booing. And then he immediately announces, the world title is vacant. And everyone cheered. They cheered his decision. And then he announced that uh, the trio's titles were vacant. He announced that the titles would be uh, decided tonight. Everybody cheered. And then he talked about how the uh, singles title would be uh, uh, determined at at, uh, Arthur Ashe. And they booed. They wanted it tonight. But uh, that's how the whole thing began. And then out comes MJF. And he gets a hero's welcome. He's cheered. He's People go nuts for him. And uh, in fact, and I'm going to need some time tonight, so Brian and Vinny Show, WrestlingObserver.com. The storyline is that he wants to win the AEW title and take it to WWE because WWE is better. So he cuts his promo, and then thank God old John Moxie comes out, and he ain't taking any of this garbage, and he tells this bloke, you better get out of here right now, or... And uh, MJF makes the wise decision and gets out of there. And then John Moxley cuts this promo. Just this guy. This guy. Hopefully Dave can pony up for a real plaque when he wins Wrestler of the Year again. He cut this promo about this company needs to be saved. I want the ball. I'm going to... I mean, I can't do it. Just go watch it. The announcers are marking out. The fans are losing their minds. Absolutely 10-star promo by John Moxley, and he's coming for that title. Should have just gave it to him right there. Damn right. Everyone in the tournament should just, like, lay down. But anyway, then we had the Death Triangle against the Best Friends for the AW World Trios title. And uh, the Best Friends were defeated by the Death Triangle. They did all sorts of, all sorts of nuttiness triple canadian destroyer spot at one point and finally black arrow on chuck taylor for the win so uh Pac now a double champion here in uh, aew as a result of what happened at that press conference so place went absolutely out of their minds for this opener then again we had a women's match in the first hour Tony Storm faced Penelope Ford. It didn't have a lot of heat. I would not say in any way it was a fantastic match, but I have been uh, very critical of Penelope Ford. I thought she looked much better in this match against Tony Storm. DDT finish, and that was it. No uh, no tease who's next, no call-out, nothing. 2.0 will be facing Action, Bronson, and Hook coming up here in two weeks. That was a segment. <laughs> Acclaimed came out with a live mic. Everybody was so excited, but Swerve interrupted. And Swerve is now, they've gone, by the way, no Keith Lee, I don't know where he was, but they've gone full heel, and they're building up to the match. The rematch is at Arthur Ashe. Heel, Swerve in our glory versus Babyface Acclaimed in the Acclaimed hometown. Dude, that's a tough act to follow, that pay-per-view match. But they're going to try, and I presume it has to be a title change, which would mean two title changes, by the way, on one show. But I guess we had that here as well. We had a Jericho Appreciation Society promo. Jericho basically told Daniel Garcia, uh, you weren't there for the celebration Sunday. Because, of course, Daniel Garcia said you could you can win without cheating, but Jericho cheated. And so Jericho goes, well, you can win that, uh, that pure title tonight, but we ain't going to be there. Wardlow destroyed Tony Nese. Then cut a promo saying, I read on the internet, people think that, uh, you know, I've been, I uh, forget the term that he used, but, you know, the uh, momentum is stalled. He has vowed to regain the momentum. And the problem is, the only way for him to regain the momentum is to build him up for something bigger. And uh, unless he's going for the world title, which he's not, I mean, I don't know how you give him momentum back by just having him come out and do the exact same thing every week. So he did the promo, but... I don't know what their plan is. Brian Danielson, Hangman Page. 
Dude, great match. Went through two commercial breaks. I think it went uh, something ridiculous, like 19 minutes, 26 minutes, something crazy. And uh, Danielson's great. Hangman did great. Hangman goes for the uh, buckshot. Uh, Danielson avoids it. O'Connor roll with a bridge, pins him, moves on in the tournament. This awesome professional wrestling. We had a great Jungle Boy promo. So, uh, you know, at the at the show Sunday, Christian came out in a giant brace, didn't even do a match, and uh, I speculated that he was injured. And then later I was told that he was injured and would be uh, requiring surgery. But uh, none of this was ever announced by AEW. And then here on this, this pre-tape, Jungle Boy just randomly says, go get your little surgery. Okay. Must have listened to my show. But anyway, uh, he's going to target Luchasaurus in the meantime and uh, take out that big lizard. Going to make him go extinct. A Stokely Hathaway promo where he celebrated winning the poker chip. And then some bloke tried to uh, wrap him up. And so uh, they wrapped him up. Rampage! I guess we'll have to have uh, my buddy do that one. Dynamite, we got Daniels and Jericho next week. John Moxley, Darby Allen, Sammy in a... Uh, oh, it's a one or the other. Whoever uh, wins on Dynamite faces John Moxley in the tournament. And then Grand Slam, Swerve in Our Glory versus The Acclaimed. And that led to the main event, which was Daniel Garcia in his hometown, Buffalo Boy, against uh, Wheeler Yuta for the ROH Peer title. And uh, as I said last night, my only criticism is these fans were not into these rules. They just wanted to see these guys fight and their guy win. And so by the end, they're like, uh, Wheeler Yuta lost a point on a rope break. The fans are like, boo! We don't care about rope breaks! <laughs> But, man, they had a great match. Fans were super into Daniel Garcia. He kept going for his, uh, uh, what's he call it, the uh, Dragon Tamer. Dragon Tamer. Goes for it over and over again and finally gets in the middle of the ring. Wheeler Yuta taps out. Daniel Garcia has won the championship in his hometown. Place goes crazy. They're all freaking out. Brian Danielson comes out. He straps the belt around Garcia's waist. He shakes his hand. And the final shot is Chris Jericho coming out, and he's furious. What are you doing? So uh, this builds up the uh, Brian Danielson versus Chris Jericho match, which is next in the tournament, rematch from the pay-per-view. Builds up the uh, Garcia, Jericho, Brian Danielson storyline. Where is uh, Daniel Garcia going to end up? And uh, overall, given... And here's the thing with this show. Here's the thing with this show, everybody. Tony likes a plan tony likes to book long term sunday messed everything up and so he had to come out here on wednesday and he had to do something that he hasn't had to do a lot and he needs experience in and that is find a way to pivot and i thought that uh overall top to bottom booking wise i thought he did an excellent job pivoting on this show it felt like a hot show there was not one CM Punk chant on this entire show. There was no Elite, Kenny Omega, Young Bucks, CM Punk, A Steel, none of them. And it felt like a hot program. You, have, you still have tons of big stars. You've got a direction. I thought he did an excellent job on this show. I agree. Three and a half days ago, you know, it was just nothing but carnage and chaos taking place. We have three wrestling shows that take place, including a pretty controversial finish for some people with Roman Reigns and Drew McIntyre. And then by Sunday at 2 o'clock in the morning Eastern time, nobody remembered any of it because of everything that took place. And here's all of his plans getting balled up and thrown into the trash can. He's got legal issues. He's got personnel issues. All of these headaches that have been, he thought maybe could be behind him after a great pay-per-view. Nope, that's not the case. It just got worse. So pressure can create diamonds. And I thought that was a shining show last night. I don't like the constant countdown clock with MJF and WWE. I get it. I don't like it. But last night it did serve a purpose for anybody that was looking for non-in-ring drama. They got it last night. They weren't going to get it with CM Punk and them talking about any of that stuff that took place. But you got a little bit of it with MJF. 
His promo was outstanding, how he came out there, how he controlled the crowd. He mocked Punk a little bit, you know, putting himself up against the gate and going in there and all that stuff. So you got a little bit of a taste of it, but I thought it was excellent. And then Moxley goes in there. Dusty Rhodes was, you know, chosen by the people. And I'm not saying that John Moxley is Dusty Rhodes. I'm not. But he's got that same sort of feel where the people just like him. They've always liked him. People look at him as a real dude. They can believe in him. They can feel his struggles and everything that he's gone through. That was the whole part of last year with him and then getting clean, all that stuff. People related to this dude, much like Eddie Kingston, people related to him, and they have chosen him. And he has picked up the banner, and obviously with the promos that he's been cutting about how he feels about that place, he's your man. Maybe Hangman Page was going to be that at one point. Maybe he can still be that down the line. Maybe dangerous, whatever. John Moxley is the heart and soul, and for right now, the future of, of, of AEW. And he was outstanding last night. To start with that trios match, that was awesome. People got what they wanted. I thought all that was good. Penelope Ford, like you mentioned, does look a little bit better, and we got the women's champion on the program. Simple match. I wonder if Wardlow may actually start crossing paths with Stokely Hathaway since he's acting as such a bully. And you have a number of people that, in theory, Wardlow could get to in a feud against W. Morrissey or against an Ethan Page or something like that. So I wonder about that. And I also wonder about with the dynamic that's playing out here with Brian Danielson and the Blackpool Combat Club and their lust to get Daniel Garcia back to the pro wrestling side, that Wheeler Yuta, who, if I'm not mistaken, I think pushed B Daniel Bryan or, or vice versa with Danielson, kind of like rolled out of the ring and he was gone. So I wonder... As Garcia starts to come over to the other side, if we don't see Jericho do something where he starts taking Wheeler Yuta away from the Blackpool Combat Club and you go ahead and you do a double switch that way. So we'll see. You know, I again, I just thought last night the crowd was great. Daniel Garcia, I thought that match was great. West Side Gun going out there. Either, you know, you like hip hop or you don't. You like Griselda or you don't. You know, for those that do, that was a great moment and, and kind of wild to see him on TV. At the same time, we're getting an action Bronson match with, with 2.0 and with Hook in Queens. So, you know, I'm not saying that things are rosy right now because they certainly are not. But when you just look at the in-ring products of both AEW and WWE, if they can get out of their own ways, and obviously AEW right now needs to do a lot more than WWE, but if they can get out of their own way... You know, you can't control what people say. You can't control what people do in a locker room or, or away from you. But you can control what happens in that ring. And I thought they gave everybody what they wanted last night. All I have is a few questions. Oh, good. My favorite. Is it duplex or suplex? Or is it both? A wrestling move where you <laughs> grab your opponent and throw him backwards through the air is a suplex. A housing complex with two homes built Connected as a duplex. Yeah, it's never been duplex, Granny. But you've you've said this now for fifteen okay, years, so we just I, yeah, let yeah. it let it go. Yeah. So I thought once and for all, I want to know which it is. So it's duplex and not suplex, right? No, a it's, suplex it's is suplex a suplex and not duplex. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> duplex is a housing development, Granny. Ulysses S. Grant's battle we, scars. We we definitely read these. Skip forward no, a few pages. No, no, no. Okay, no. all right, all right. Go ahead. We didn't do this one. Okay. Yeah, this person says we did. This person says we did it. I protest. There must be two of them then. <laughs> I protest. He wrote the same one twice. Yeah. I like this one about Grant so much. I'm going to put it in the book twice. I, I'm telling you, I wasn't back this time. Okay, far. fine. Read another one. Yeah, everyone's saying we read these last week, Granny. Big deal. <laughs> Who cares, but everybody? All the, but all the researchers today. Are you reading the book the wrong way? No. Okay. What do you think I am? I don't know. You keep saying you're going back. <laughs> Why would we go back when reading a book? We're supposed to go forward. Maybe what happens, Granny, is you put the bookmark in, and then when you open it to that page, you start reading the ones we already read. Maybe the bookmark should go on the next page. No. Okay. <laughs> what do they say in court? I object. I object. Objection, Your Honor. Yeah, that's right. I didn't read that again. Overruled, Granny, you did. <laughs> All right. Anything else, Granny? You're guilty. <laughs> well. <laughs> <laughs>
go to go to jail. Your guilty was the high spot of the week. Oh, uh, shut me off. No, oh, you're right here. Hello. Can you hear me? Hello. There was some weird rumbling going on. Like she, she's unplugging her own cord there. I think you unplugged the cord. I can't hear you. you. You can you hear me? Can you hear me? I I'll message you. I'll message you. I hear you now. Oh, now you do? Yeah, now I hear. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> I don't know. Ah! All right. If you enjoy these videos for just seven dollars and ninety nine cents per month. You can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.